Bruce Lee's combat strategies were designed to be effective in real-life self-defense situations, where speed, adaptability, and efficiency could determine the outcome. He believed that traditional martial arts, with their rigid forms and predictable movements, were not suitable for unpredictable and high-stress encounters. Instead, he created principles that focused on simplicity, directness, and overwhelming speed. Lee's approach was about using the most effective techniques to neutralize a threat quickly, rather than relying on complex moves or showy displays. One of Bruce Lee's key strategies was to take the initiative in a confrontation, rather than waiting for an opponent to make the first move. Lee believed in preemptive action, intercepting an attack before it even started. This approach involved disrupting the opponent's rhythm and taking control of the situation. Whether it was with a fast strike or an effective block, Lee advocated for putting the aggressor on the defensive from the start. In a real-life scenario where hesitation could lead to danger, taking control right away was essential. Another critical element of Lee's combat strategies was his focus on speed and efficiency. In real-life self-defense, there is no time for complicated techniques or prolonged fights. Bruce Lee taught that quick. Decisive strikes to vulnerable areas like the eyes, throat, and groin could incapacitate an attacker almost immediately. His goal was to end the confrontation as fast as possible using minimal effort. Whether using his devastating sidekick or a fast jab, Lee's strategies were aimed at quickly neutralizing a threat, reducing the risk to the person defending themselves. Adaptability was also a core principle in Lee's approach. He understood that no two situations were the same, and a good fighter must be ready to adjust tactics depending on the circumstances. Whether facing one person or multiple attackers, Lee's philosophy encouraged fluidity. This could mean using the environment to your advantage, like using nearby objects for defense or exploiting weaknesses in your opponent's movements. Lee's techniques were designed to adapt to different situations allowing the defender to act creatively and decisively when faced with a threat. Finally, Bruce Lee's self-defense strategies were deeply rooted in mental discipline. He believed that the mind played a significant role in combat, emphasizing mental clarity, focus, and emotional control. In a high-pressure situation, fear and panic can be just as dangerous as the attacker's physical force. Lee encouraged martial artists to train their minds, stay calm, and stay aware.